Okay, this is one of the past year question for probability in paper two for max means for the modern max. Okay, this is not the probability question for the at max is just for the normal max. Okay. Now we have a look at the question. The question says that diagram below show three number cards in box P. In box P actually got number two, three and six. And two number cards labeled with the letter in box Q. You will see Y and R in the box Q. Okay. Now he said a card is picked at random from box P and then a card is picked at random from box Q means what the the words er is very important here means they only pick one card from box P and then they only pick another one card from box Q okay so he he asked you by by listing the sample of all the possible outcome of the event so before you start to answer the question for a and b he asks you listing the sample of all the possible outcome means you have to list out all the possible outcome first so okay so i teach you how to list all the possible outcome here so actually it's very simple okay means i write a sample here okay sample i use s or i can write sample s okay okay first listing all the possible outcome means what when i pick a card number two from box p i can pick y or i can pick r from box q means the first group I, if i pick number two i can still pick y if i pick number two i can still pick r so i got two and r okay if let's say from box p i pick the number is a number three so means if i when i pick number three i can pick up y and when i pick number three i can still pick for r okay so last if i pick number six if i pick number six same i can still pick y in box q and when i pick number six in box p i can still pick r I can still pick R for box Q. So, therefore, this is all the possible outcome. Means what? You just two Y, two R, and then three Y, three R, and then six Y, six R. Means okay. You from the sample here, he said he say a card is picked from box P and then a card is picked from box Q. So two is from box P and Q is from and y is from box q so this fulfill all the condition they want so you just list list out all the possible outcome means that it's possible i pick three and r yes three and r i got if i pick six and y so six and y have here so this is all the possible outcome so we call this sample okay so before we start to do i just want to know what is the number for sample here so i want to see i have how many sample here okay so i got one two three four five six so i just write number for sample i got six because this number later will be very useful when you want to calculate probability okay okay so now a he he want to find a card with an even number and the card label uh, uh, label Y are pigs. Okay, very important words here is N. Means what? Means he must, means he must have both together, even number and Y. Okay, okay, you see th this one, even number and Y. Yes, this is what the 
part A1. This have even number, but then this is R. So this is not the part A1. Because unless he say he want to pick a card with even number or a card with label Y, then this one we can get. But if he use the word N means he must fulfill two condition, even number and Y and the label Y. So means we cannot take two and out because this only fulfill one of the condi condition which is even number. So let's say, okay, this one have Y, but then three is odd number. So this one we also cannot take. Three and out obviously cannot. And six and Y, six is the even number and Y is label Y. So this one we can take. Okay, six is even number, but then we do not have Y, we have R. Unless he say, even number or label Y, then we can take this one. But then he used the end means must fulfill two condition. Okay, so here I just list down. Okay, so for the part A. Okay, for the part A, he want he want probability for even number, even number and label Y okay so before we calculate probability we want to know what we have now okay actually even number and label Y we only okay this one is something like that we only got 2 and Y and then we got 6 and Y okay Okay, this one fulfill even number and label Y. Even number and label Y. So actually, okay, let's say we let this one is A. Means A equal to this one, so A equal to this one. Okay, when I let A actually in probability, this one A we call is event. Okay, so let's say number for A we have here actually is 2, 1 and 2 only. So I write two. So if you want to find probability for, you want to find probability for event A, will equal to number of event A divided by number of sample. Okay, this is the formula for probability. If you want to find probability for event A, you you need to use number of event A divided by number of sample so event a here is even number and label y therefore we just write what we have here so priority for even number and label y we got 2 divided by total here the number for sample is 6 so after we simplify we got 1 over 3 so this is the priority for even number and label Y. Okay, so this is the answer for part A. Okay, now we have a look on part B. Okay, part B, he want a card with a number which is multiple of 3 or a card labels of R are picks. Okay, very important word here, same thing is the or. Or means I just need to fulfill one of the condition. I don't need to fulfill both conditions. Mean one of the condition, either the numbers is multiple of three, or the number is R. Okay, so from sample here, we always search from the sample. Okay, from sample here. Okay, multiple of three. We got actually we got three and six. Or is multiple of three. And okay, we. We have R here, R here, so R here, so I just write. Okay, first thing maybe, maybe I just let, okay, maybe I just let B is the, maybe I just let B is the um, multiple of 3 or R means or label R. Of course, in the exam, you better copy the whole sentence here. Okay, so what we have for B here, we will have, okay, first, 
2 and y cannot because this is not multiple of 3 and also not r okay this one we can have okay we, we can use this one because you have r here he, all mean just fulfill one of the condition so i actually i can put 2r okay so we got 3y because he just need to fulfill one of the condition because he used the word or so 3 is multiple of 3 and then we got 3r okay mean actually 3r is fulfill two condition but then or means three condition uh fulfill two condition this one we also can take and then we got 6y because 6 is the multiple of 3 and then last we got 6r because 6 is multiple of 3 and r will be labeled r so after that we have to calculate the number for event b we got how many we got one two three four five so i write five okay so in order to find the probability for event b the formula will be number for event b divided by number of sample always remember this formula okay then this will be very simple number for okay, probability for multiple of three or label r will equal to five divided by six okay this one cannot simplify so this is the answer for part b okay in probability you need to very be careful is the word n and or actually n is something like in the set okay means okay i do a quick explain here so let's say n you always remember n let's say two event event a and b n will always mean the intercept means must fulfill both condition only the middle part and then or will always mean union okay or actually will means union so this let's say this is a and b when you see the word all means everything of a and b or will means union it will mean a union b and will means a in the set b okay this is something you need to know for probability thank you for watching